Hi, my name is Serene Parker. I'm a birth doula and a childbirth educator, and also the mother of two beautiful boys whom I birthed naturally. Very proud of that. It was very difficult, um, but totally worth it. And one of the reasons it was worth it because of the hormones I experienced during labor. And so today I wanna to talk to you about um, five hormones that you will experience during labor. Um, so number one is kind of a big one, and all the other, all the other hormones revolve around this one. And this one is oxytocin. And it is responsible for your uterine contractions that um, help you progress to get the baby born. It is also known as the, the love hormone because it supports um, bonding after, after the baby is born. It helps, uh, it's responsible for the milk ejection reflex and also provides a natural euphoria for you after birth. Um, it also helps you to birth the placenta. Um, so oxytocin is very, very important. Number two is endorphins. You experience all sorts of endorphins during birth. And um, if you have a natural oxytocin flow going during birth and is not inhibited by anything, um, you will have endorphins because endorphins are promoted by oxytocin. Endorphins are nature's pain relief, so you really, really want these during your birth. Um, it is stimulated by light massage and touch, and it's promoted by laughter and love. So um, having having someone there to, to hold your hand, to massage you, to, to laugh with you, and to, to love you, having your partner there to love you can help with your endorphins and to help, help with... Um, not feeling the pain as much. So that's number two. Number three is prolactin. Prolactin peaks at birth and it supports your baby's neuroendocrine development, um, which is their brain development. Um, and it also promotes your milk supply and prolactin complements, um, complements oxytocin. It's a little bit confusing. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll review it. Um, number four is melatonin. Melatonin is released in dark, quiet settings. And melatonin actually helps to boost your oxytocin. Um, if you are interrupted during your birth or you have observation going on, like observation where you're feeling washed as a mother, um, your melatonin will be inhibited um, because those two things will block your melatonin production. Um, and melatonin does work um, like together, hand in hand, with oxytocin and it will boost your oxytocin. Um, number five is your adrenaline. Adrenaline um, speeds up your heart rate and increases your breathing rate and it can be released um, with fear and stress and is released under bright lights and um, adrenaline can slow your birth and it can block oxytocin. And the reason for this, so if you kind of, if you think in nature, if you're, for example, a cat and you're feeling um, like you are being chased by a dog and you're very scared that the dog is going to eat you, you're going to have adrenaline to uh, increase your heart rate, increase your breathing so you can sprint out of there and go find a safe place. And your, uh, the cat's labor is not going to start when you're running 50 miles an hour to get to get away from that danger. And it's the same thing with humans. We have that same adrenaline, um, that same uh, instinct that if we feel like we're in danger, um, it will slow down our birth and it will block our oxytocin. So um, I have worked with moms in the past who have gotten to the hospital and felt like they were really scared to be there, felt observed, just didn't feel comfortable enough to um, have endorphins and prolactin and melatonin. They were scared and so they had a lot of adrenaline and a lot of anxiety and so it blocked their oxytocin and it would slow down their birth and they would say, oh, you're not making any progress and then mom would get discouraged. So it's really important um, to make sure that in your birth space, you make it such so that you're not going to feel like you're in danger in any way. Um, so those are my f the five hormones during labor that a woman will experience. Oxytocin helps with your uterus contractions, endorphins, prolactin, melatonin, and adrenaline. Um, again, um, endorphins are promoted by oxytocin, prolactin complements oxytocin, and melatonin works hand in hand and boosts oxytocin and adrenaline blocks oxytocin. So 
Um, yet another reason why you should give birth naturally and experience all those wonderful hormones and um, bonding hormones with your child as well. So um, again, my name is Serene Parker. Please visit my website, www.myserenebirth.com for more information about doulas, dads and doulas, the difference between nurses and doulas, nurses and um, midwives, that sort of thing. Any kind of questions, be, feel free to ask. Thank you.